Yeah, Andy and Bruce have their brother and sister, and they've been through a lot. You know, they're foster kids, and they've been in and out of foster homes, and they finally have a family they're living with who aren't very nice to them, but at the same time are very funny, Lisa Kudrow and Kevin Dillon. So um, they're definitely dealing with a lot. Andy and Bruce are quite resourceful. <laughs> they are really resourceful. <laughs> they're very, um, they're full of ideas and always have a, have a solution to every problem, or they eventually at least come up with one. Uh, what is it about these two that you think other kids will be able to relate to? Well, I think for the most part they're pretty like typical kids and um, they're dealing with a lot of the same issues as regular kids, even though they're foster kids. Um, and, you know, they, um, they're also, they're funny and they, like Bruce invents all these cool things that I think kids will think is really awesome. I mean, I saw the movie and I hadn't seen all the gadgets completely done and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. So I think younger kids will love it even more. What were some of the challenges of working with so many dogs? <laughs> it was definitely challenging to, you know, get, have them do everything when they were supposed to do it. And we had to do probably more takes because of the dogs. But, you know, they were really well trained, so they did a good job for most of the time. Did any of the dogs become a little buddy to you or at all? Did you have a favorite? We had fun with all of them. I really liked Shep, the, the sheep herding dog. I thought that was so cute. And uh, it, it was just, his name was Ryder, and he was just really sweet. That's cool. Um, what are some of the memories that you'll take away from this project for you? Um, I mean, overall, it was, it was just a fun shoot. Like, it was, um, it was definitely difficult at times, but uh, it was fun, and I, I made good friends. Like, we all got along really well, and... Um, yeah, I, I mean, I can just, like, when I watch the movie, I, I enjoy watching it not only because it's a great movie, but because I have great memories from working on it. At what point in, did you realize that you wanted to be an actress and you really wanted to pursue this as a career? Um, I've, I've kind of, it's just something I've always wanted to do. I, I really love traveling and I love meeting new people and um, I think it's just fun to get to play, like, a different character and to, you know, tell a story. And I love going to the movies so much and... Uh, so I just wanted to be in them. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about some other projects that you might be working on? I have two movies at Sundance, actually. I'm going next week, so I'm so excited about that. Um, one is called The Winning Season, and one is called Lime Life. And they're both like much kind of more mature, edgier movies than, than Hotel for Dogs. Where do you hope to see your career go? Um, I, I hope that I have kind of, you know, like a... Natalie Portman, Reese Witherspoon kind of career. Just They've been acting since they were younger and are still, you know, they're superstars now and they've done amazing movies and I think that would be, that would be great. Very cool. Who, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, what do you think is the main message of this movie? What do you hope people um, to see? I think there's just, there's me so many messages in it, which is great and I, I just I really like how um, the point of family is like constant throughout throughout the movie and it shows you that family might not always be like you know your mom and your dad and your siblings it can be like you know people who you feel close with or who you feel at home with and uh, I thought that was really special. Do you have any animals of your own? Yeah I have a dog named Twiggy and I have a uh, a cat named Stranger. Okay. Do you ever take them with you when you're on set, or do they stay at home? Um, uh, Twiggy usually comes and visits on set sometimes. My sister brings her everywhere, so <laughs> she usually brings her when she comes by. And are you based out here in L.A., or do you... I live in L.A. Okay, yeah. very cool. Do you find it difficult growing up in L.A., just because it's the Hollywood and so many people... I don't know. It's... Yeah, I mean, I, I like I like L.A. Uh, I, I don't really think it's that difficult, just because... If you don't, like, go to the Hollywood scene, you're not really a part of that. Like, it's not L.A. as a whole that's like that. It's really just a couple of clicks of people. But, um, yeah, I like it out here. I mean, I, all my friends are out here, and it's, it's where I've grown up, so it's my home. But I, I do love New York, so I hope to live there one day.